But closer to home now, there is a legal fight brewing in one Steel Creek neighborhood. It has to do with who's allowed in the neighborhood pool and more importantly, when. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger is live at that neighborhood pool in Steel Creek tonight for us. And Derek, this could turn out to be a very expensive battle. Yes, and neighbors are the ones that tipped us off to it. In fact, they told us about this complaint, which seeks hundreds of thousands of dollars over the adults only rules that were at one point in place at this pool. And now those we spoke with say the rule may make sense, but it may also be illegal. It may look like the spot for a summertime swim or what's left of it, but what goes on behind these gates is now a big point of contention in the crossings neighborhood in Still Creek. And the reason some say it's a bit of a doozy. I haven't heard anything like this, and this is what's so surprising. Stephen McCoy lives in the neighborhood, and when we filled him in on what's going on here. How that would be able to get this far? Yeah. No, it's unheard of. What's going on is a bit complicated, but we'll try to simplify it the best we can. The pool here at one point had adults only swim opportunities, but one of the board members of the HOA here filed a complaint saying that adult swim was discrimination and was seeking hundreds of thousands of dollars because of it. All this was revealed in a recent meeting that Queen City News got the details on. This may sound odd to many, but this complaint may actually have some legs because of some federal court decisions saying adult swim at community pools are illegal under fair housing laws. People living here in this community, both on and off camera, told us that this adult swim rule hadn't really been enforced since lifeguards went away. Off camera, those we spoke with say they are aware of the back and forth, with more than one saying it's, quote, ridiculous. It's coming at the expense of residents. Locking it down and saying this is my adult time, yeah. you know, um, that's unreasonable. And it has some wondering why this can't be resolved without money. Or, or some sort, yes. You know, it, it's a legitimate complaint in a board. You know, and if this is a board member that brought this forth, yeah. you know, how about you guys sit around and you know, let's talk about it? Yeah. You know, you, who would even hear of a, a lawsuit made up like this? Well, the HOA here, they told us that, uh, well, we actually tried to get a hold of the HOA. We couldn't necessarily get a hold of the president or the uh, board member that actually filed that complaint. But the HOA did modify their rules just after all this happened. Right after this complaint came forward, uh, they took out the adult swim language, and they have also been keeping residents up to date on this. But they also said, at least at some point in some of those details that we got, that they are not commenting on any further litigation, at least, at least right now. Live in Still Creek, Derek Dallas, Queen City News. All right, Derek, thank you.